Welcome to Harm's Way's Nickel Tour, the Gato Class Submarine. In this tour, I want to just cover some of the real basic gauges and yes, sir. Ahead standard. increase from one third speed to standard speed to yes, sir. before I make my turn. Port port. Allows for a quicker turn. And then when I'm ready to go to my heading, in this case I want to head to north, I'll slow down first to one third and then it's a little easier to... Yes sir, ahead one third. Hit it right on the money for your heading. Yes, sir. Rudder. Going down into the conning tower and move on into the control room where we see numerous gauges and gauge clusters. This set of gauges here are the uh, ballast gauges for uh, allowing seawater to come into the balance or to blow it out with compressed air. Fairly simple and the gauges are operational and you can see them as you uh, do a dive. Now here we see the gauges in front of the plainsman responsible for diving. We can see a couple of the uh, bubbles here for when you're on the surface to determine the rock side to side and then moving forward the radio stack and then turning over to the ventilation uh, indicators for port and aft and over looking forward to the helmsman where he has the speed indicators for the two diesel engines and the uh, four gauges on the lower yes, right the RPMs, as you can see, increasing speed. Uh, the knots increasing as uh, the boat gains through the water. And of course, the helmsman has the compass rows below. And we take a look at the navigation table and the chart. And then further aft, go to the workbench where an officer or the commander has a super kick gauges of speed indicator, uh, dive depth. management uh, boat system and here's crew management where we can move the officer on deck from the bridge uh, and send lookouts below uh, into the conning tower and helmsmen back into their dive positions into the control room. And here you can see the helmsmen are now, uh, which they're on watch above, and are now below, ready to make a dive. Yes, sir. Periscope depth. Dive, dive. You see the plainsmen have the depth gauge. The uh, little one in the center is a larger magnitude, and then each of them have. Uh, a depth gauge uh, of the standard dive depth as well as the indicators for the periscope depth and the maximum depth recommended of 150. As we go into the dive, go in deeper, uh, ventilation ports would close and uh, go from the 
diesel engines, the combustion engine, and with the green indicator light in the center there, uh, letting us know that all those uh, ventilation systems are closed and we're now running on battery. With the red dive bubble as we level out into periscope depth. And also note that the red indicators are now green, noting that they're closed. Current depth, six, zero. Up into the conning tower, we can see our lookouts above are now into the conning tower. They're no longer watch, but they're doing the sonar radar duty. We can click on the periscope, raise that up, take a look outside from periscope depth. and get a nice view of what's happening out calm seas today although overcast weather thundering no rain but uh, visibility is low here we can see the indicator lights on the torpedo tubes uh, torpedo doors open closed and uh, the red uh, firing mechanisms. Set the periscope back down again and let's listen to the hydrophones and tap on the sonar officer and they'll give us the headset for us to listen for ourselves and see if there's anything out there. Well, it looks like we have a ship out there. We can hand the headphones back over to the sonar officer. Contact! Merchant! Moving away! Bearing! Three, four, three. Long range! As it gives us the report and bearing, we can get in, go to the attack plot. And uh, normally most of us use just the normal charting with all the tools. Uh, we can set our bearing that was just called out and uh, plotted on there and change heading or make any decisions necessary. Here the plainsman is in the conning tower and yes, take orders to increase speed as we want to make a turn for the attack. Yes sir. Hard to port. Compass rows available. Lower right, you see the RPM meters as you saw below. And this is an underwater maneuver, but uh, in most yes, cases, surface the boat. surfacing the boat would be preferable for making surface, quick maneuvers. Surface, surface. The helmsman tapping the steering wheel, he's ready to get out and get some fresh air. Notice that the crew is not, uh, watch crew is not out on the bridge. Uh, we have to go ahead and give the orders for them to look out to go from their duties below to, to the duties up on the deck and move our helmsman back up into watch position. And there you see he's officer on deck. We can then take a look through the binoculars. Can't see anything out there. We can't see land, but we know there's land out there. As the seagulls are telling us, that land must be nearby. That's uh, the basic gauges that the commander would be using for your typical maneuvers out on the open ocean as well as uh, diving and surfacing.